This is FLW Fishing 101. I'm Kyle Wood, and today's topic is understanding the different types of fishing lines. To be successful in anything, you need to have the right tools for the job, and one of the most important tools for an angler is their fishing line. Monofilament, fluorocarbon, and braid lines all have their time and place, which we'll cover today. First up, monofilament, or mono as it's usually called, has long been the standard within the fishing industry. It consists of basically what the name implies, a single strand of plastic fiber. There are dozens of manufacturers on the market, making it one of the more readily available lines to get. Mono has long been the choice for anglers over the past few decades, mostly due to its low cost and functionality. However, with recent advancements in line technology, many anglers find themselves using mono less and less frequently. For example, I have 17 rods at home and only two of them are spooled with mono. There are many characteristics of mono you need to consider when selecting this line. One of its main advantages is the fact that it floats, making it a tremendous choice for throwing topwater baits, such as poppers, prop baits, and walking baits. In fact, it's one of the lines you'll see many FLW Tour Pros throwing when using those presentations. Another advantage of monofilament is the fact that it has a lot of stretch to it. This helps absorb the impact from a strike when throwing, say, a crankbait or a spinnerbait. Now that stretch factor is also a disadvantage when fishing deeper water and you need to be able to set the hook and really drive it home, say in 25 to 40 feet of water. One of the major flaws of monofilament line is that it has memory, causing the line to retain the shape of the spool leading to backlashes, tangles, and bird's nests that have plagued anglers for years. Next we can move on to one of the more popular lines in the fishing industry, fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon seems to be one of those lines that many anglers have a love-hate relationship with, especially when first trying it. Carbon, or fluoro as it's commonly referred to as, offers some great advantages that can also be considered disadvantages to new anglers. With that in mind, fluoro has become a very popular choice for most fishing situations. One of the main advantages to fluoro is that it's practically invisible underwater. This makes it ideal for fishing clear water situations where finesse presentations are needed. Another property of fluoro is that it has less stretch than monofilament. This adds sensitivity to the line, allowing you to detect those subtle strikes. It also sinks, making it a great choice for most fishing situations aside from topwaters. The sinking property adds depth to the dive of a crankbait and even adds action to soft plastic baits on the fall. Now, one of the scary things for most beginning anglers is that fluoro tends to be a really stiff line. This causes the line to jump or fall off of a spinning reel. Now one way to get around that is to use smaller pound tests on spinning reels than you would on a bait caster. Fluoro has some great advantages, potentially allowing you to catch more fish as long as you are aware that there's a learning curve to handling it properly. The more experience you have with it, the more comfortable you'll become. Finally, we can dive into the world of braided lines. Braided lines have also been around for decades, but with advancements in line technology have become easier to handle and smaller in diameter. Multiple strands of fibers are woven together to create these lines. Like fluoro, braid also has some excellent qualities that make it a great choice for most fishing situations. For example, there's no stretch with braided line. This leads to increased sensitivity and gives you better hookups in heavy cover and deeper water. Like mono, braid also floats, making it a great choice for topwater fishing, especially frog style baits in thick vegetation. And as a side note, when fished in thick vegetation, braided line helps cut through the grass, making it easier to land that fish. When fishing around docks, wood, and rocks, braid is a top choice due to its excellent abrasion resistance. Braid also offers higher pound tests in smaller diameter, providing larger spool capacities and further casting distance. For the budget-minded angler, a spool of braid can be fished for more years without being replaced as often as you would expect with fluoro or mono. Now one of the downsides to braid is that it is highly visible in clear water. This has been a brief touch the various types of line on the market. Taking into account the type of water and the lure you'll be fishing with will determine which type of line to spool. If you're just starting out and looking for an all-around type of line, I'd suggest sticking with the versatility of fluoro or braid. To boil it down, mono is best for fishing topwaters, fluoro and braid are solid all around with fluoro excelling in clear water and braid perfect for heavy cover. I'm Kyle Wood, this has been FLW Fishing 101. Wow.